Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your strength and cardio fusion with weights workout. So in this workout, we are gonna fuse some strength moves with some cardio moves to get a full body workout. We'll get your heart pumping, we'll get your muscles burning, we'll get you feeling good. In this workout, you can use either a set of dumbbells or a kettlebell or both. Each circuit will have two rounds where you can switch in between if you would like. As always, I'll give you different options, so listen to your body and work to your level. All you need for this workout are your dumbbells or kettlebell and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so let's start marching or jogging, whatever feels good for you. Let's roll through those shoulders to the back and to the front, just checking on my microphone back there. <laughs> Take them back even a little bit bigger and then to the front. One big deep breath in and out. One more. And then let's step out into that side lunge while we open up big with our arms. So cross them over and under. Yes, good. So the goal here is to get the blood flowing, muscles warm, movement prep for the exercises we are about to do. Take it here, we're gonna swing up and down, little hinge with the hips, stretch it out there, and breathe. And let's take it flat back down and round it up, open up those knees, really roll through the muscles along the spine. One more right here and hold it here. Just push out gently while we roll those shoulders forward. There we go. Walk them in, round it up, tap and reach across. Turn the knees and the hips really stretch long. So strength and cardio fusion with weight. So again, we're using dumbbells and kettlebells or both. Um, if you have both, you can switch between the circuits. That's what I'm going to do. If you only have one, you use what you've got in all of the circuits. If you have options to go heavier or lighter, please keep all of those close by. Just good to have in case you need to drop it down if something is feeling too challenging or if it's feeling not challenging enough, always good to go heavier if you can. You never know, we are way stronger than we think we are, right? Let's take it here. So here's how this works. Each circuit, we have three moves where we will have a strength for 30 seconds followed directly by a cardio for 30 seconds. So the cardio will be body weight, the strength will be with the weights. So I do want you to take five seconds or so, I will too, to set the weights down out of the way before we get into that cardio, so don't feel like you have to go right into it, whatever it is. I want you to actually take a time to safely set your weights out of the way. So safety first, just wanna say that, you'll see me doing it. So 30 seconds followed by 30 seconds, and then what will end up being about a 20 second break in between. In between the circuits, after we go through once with kettlebell and then once with dumbbell, then we will do some swings, and then we'll get about a minute or so where I'll give you an optional cardio and I talk you through our next circuit. So we're gonna try to get through it quickly, but we go through everything with dumbbells, everything with kettlebell, and we'll be getting strength followed directly by cardio. It's a little bit of a superset in that 30 seconds and 30 seconds because it's a cardio that's more focused on whatever you just worked. So it'll be fun, it'll move quickly. Go ahead and just keep those hamstring curls while I talk you through our first round. So we got our squat. We are going to do a plie squat. So dumbbell or kettlebell, you're dropping it down here. If you wanna have the dumbbells here, you can do the same thing. And then get that weight out of the way. Our cardio is tap out, tap in, or a little jump, right? Then we're gonna take it to some rows and our cardio will be going out with a fly and tapping out to the side. Then we're gonna do some plank singles. We'll take it down. Those plank singles are gonna be here, lifting up, lifting up. If you're in my pre-post DR phase, I want you just to do that tap back, that tap back. And if 
you need to modify for whatever reason. Remember what I always say, be where you are today. And then we'll do some, some plank jacks, which again, you can do on your elbows or uh, tapping back. So go ahead and grab whatever you got. I'm actually gonna start with kettlebell this time. Let's drop it down 30 seconds, here we go. Down and up, squeeze it here. So kettlebell either in the center if you're feeling ambitious, you wanna hold those weights a little higher, you can do the same thing. I want toes out on this. Again, dumbbells, if you've got your dumbbells, can be here. I think I'll start with my kettlebells on all the circuits just to mix it up. You do you, be where you are today. You showed up today, you are successful. One more right here, out of the way. Here we go. So we're gonna step it out. Here's your low impact or high. Little jump, little jump. So we got 30, we're gonna keep those legs burning. What I want you to do is still try to get low. Even if you're not doing the jump, still drop those hips so it's not just here. Really get them down so they're working. Yes, five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath and breathe. All right, with that row, I'm gonna switch to a lighter kettlebell. If you have two dumbbells, you can do two or one. If you have that kettlebell, we're gonna switch in between. I'm gonna come up in between. Row, row, come up. When we get to that cardio, we're gonna tap just like that. All right, here we go. Zip up in that core, 30 seconds. One row, other row, all the way up. Flat back, row, row, and up. If you have dumbbells, you wanna do both, totally up to you, or just one. Come up in between. You can do here for two, and up, yes. Here for two. Let's get one more. Up, up, drop it down out of your way. Make sure you have some space. Ready, here we go, cardio, tap. So you can be upright if your back needs a little break. You can even do a little jump out. You wanna keep more of that back working. Keep it here, right? So nice and tight with your back. I know it feels a little weird for a cardio move, but again, the goal is to get the heart pumping while we work the same set of muscles without any weight, right? Five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. Bring it down. So we're here, team. Plank singles. My early postpartum and DR group, you can do these, but I just want you to take it, just lift up a little or to the knees. Pregnancy, I want you to stay on all fours and just do that lift in the breathing. Everybody else, take it all the way down. Big inhale, expand. As we exhale, I want you to use your core to lift and lift. Join me here. Inhale, expand, exhale, lift with the core. So what I mean by that is we're not pushing through the elbows, we're not pushing through the toes. I'm really imagining that there's a string on my belly button lifting up. So breathe, lift, lift, down and down. Keep it going. Up, you got five seconds. Last one, one more. Good, relax. Stay here if you can. You're either jacks out or jacks out or modification, you're tapping back. Pregnant mama, stay there. Here we go. Out, in. So again, we wanna keep that core working. You can it's totally fine to be here. I know this means that you're almost in a one minute plank, but you can do it. You're strong. We're getting that variety. This works too. Just tap, tap, 10 seconds. Yes. Yes. Three, two, one, oh, core. Bring it up and breathe. We're gonna do all of that again. Switch to whatever you didn't use before. I'm gonna switch to my dumbbells or switch to that kettlebell or whatever you got. So here we go. Starting with that plie squat, toes out, drop it down. 30 seconds. Remember we're gonna go 30 seconds strength, 30 seconds cardio, which is stepping out jumping in if you want to have those dumbbells or kettlebell down in the center just keep that chest lifted dropping the hips 
Really squeeze up and in. Zip up in that core, pull everything in. Knit it in, breathe. Pelvic floor lifting for everybody. My guys too. One more. Dumbbells or kettlebell out of, oh, no. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. Step out and in. That's what I mean, guys, right? Make sure you're not gonna step on those weights. Low impact, you are just down and up. Still drop those hips. Yes, 10 seconds to go. I know those legs are burning, but still try to get low. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. All right, back to that row again. You can do one dumbbell and or one kettlebell, bring it up, or you can do two dumbbells. I'm gonna go two to push myself if you got it. Zip up in that core. Roll those shoulders back. Catch your breath. Hinge. Here we go. So I'm gonna go up for two. All the way up. Up for two. Flat back and up. Or you can just do one and then the other. Up in between. One and then the other. Up in between. Finish it out strong. 10 seconds. And up. Last one right here. Good, finish it. Weights out of the way. And again, watch me. This time, let's tap back with it. Same thing with the arms, out wide, tap it back. Here we go, 30. You can jump it if you want. Again, everybody always tells me how silly they feel with these cardio moves. Don't worry about it. As long as you're safe, as long as you're moving, that's all I care about. We just want the heart rate up and I want you to open wide so you squeeze in those back muscles, right? Breathe. Five to go. Three, two, one. See how you still feel that in your back? That's the point of those supersets. Take it down. All right, team, same thing again. Plank singles, plank jacks. If you need to modify, especially my pregnant mamas, I just want you to lift on the singles here with your core, tap it back for that jack. Everybody else, if you can, take it here. Inhale, exhale, lift. You can just stay on the knees, especially early post DR, but still if that feels too much, go to those knees, quadruped, or come up in between. Inhale, really focus on that core doing the work. I know sometimes people say, oh, I don't really feel this. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. You should be leading in the center, not pushing with the elbows. See the difference? I can just use my arms. I'm using my core. Pull it together, up, down. Relax for just a second. Modification, you're tapping back. Everybody else, here we go for 30. Nice and light, knees are soft. You can tap it out too, if that feels better, but I want you to stay lifted. Yes, 10 seconds. How are we doing? When I get tired, I always try to switch to the low impact for a second and then come right back into it for four, three, two, breathe. Stretch it back. Guys, bring it up. We're gonna come into a swing. So we're gonna do a swing in between our circuits when we finish with kettlebells and dumbbells for our two rounds. So I'm gonna go with my kettlebell since I started with it. If you're not comfortable with the swing, kettlebells or dumbbells, you can take it to that deadlift. If you've got two dumbbells, you can do that skier swing. If you got one dumbbell, keep it in the center just for a swing like this. Roll those shoulders back, zip up in that core, hinge it here, ready, here we go. It's 40 seconds, breathe, power it up. So again, watch how I'm letting my kettlebell hang at the top. Hang, drop, hang, drop. Yes, keep it going. And breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. 
one. Swing and relax, pedal those feet. Whoo, awesome work team. Weights out of the way. Grab a quick sip of water, Whew. right? How are we doing team? I know. All right, so watch me here. We're gonna take it to, if you wanna keep your cardio going, you can either just step out without the squat or do exactly what we did before with that cardio. So you can pick any of those cardio moves to stick with one minute, starting now while I show you your next moves. All right, kettlebell or dumbbell. We're gonna take it to a lunge on one side. So I'm gonna show you this way. So if that right leg is forward, we're going here for 30 seconds, then kettlebell out of the way. I'm going a half skater, half skater, tap in. If that just feels too weird for you, just do a regular skater, don't worry about it. But if you want, I want you to try to get low on that same side we were working and then just slide it in. Low, slide it in. Same thing, other side. I know, two times through, twice. I get it. All right, guys, but you can do it. Then we're gonna take it down. Chest press in to triceps. So here's our strength. We're here, chest and tries, or we're dumbbells. We're gonna flip it right over into our plank press, down, down, up, up. I'll, I'll tell you when we get to the core. All right, go ahead and grab it here. Get ready for those 30 seconds. Lunge it, let's go stationary. Zip it up, here we go. Drop it down, bring it up. You got 30 seconds. So you're angled. If you need to modify, remember you can always tap it back or you can always do a little one-legged deadlift. It's up to you. Yes, breathe. Zip up here. I'm gonna face forward so you can see me. You got five seconds. Dumbbells or kettlebells, whatever you got. Three, two, one. Set them out of the way, and here we go. Curtsy, and up. Half skater, and up. Slide, get low, slide high. Again, don't let that get in your brain too much. If it feels like too much, you just do your regular skater that you know that works too. 10 seconds, breathe, up, up, yes, last one, and breathe. How's that one leg, right? All right, so same thing, other side, two dumbbells or one kettlebell on the outside, dropping it down for 30, step it, single curtsy, for 30, all right, Whew. breathe, zip up in the core. Here we go, ah! drop it down. It's a little bit like Tabata guys where it's like 30 seconds is nothing, right? We often do 45 or 50 second sets. You can get through this. Think of it as all you gotta get through is that 30 seconds, right? Just get that in your brain. All I gotta do is 30 seconds. Of course, then we follow it with more but just keep your brain on what's happening right now, and that's these last five seconds, right? One more, put it to the side, out of the way, half curtsy, half skater, here we go. Here, and up, cross down, and up. Get low, get high. Cover that space if you've got it, and again, be aware of where those weights are. And breathe, and up, and breathe. Yes, there we go, and up, three, two, one, breathe. Awesome guys, all right, bring it down. If you have those dumbbells, you can keep it with a close grip. Press into tries, that's what I'm gonna do on that second set. If you got your kettlebell, you're obviously holding it between the two, press and tries. Then we flip it over, plank press. Here we go. So take it up, take it over. If you need to modify my pregnant mamas, if you wanna up, be up in that bridge to take some of that pressure off or prop yourself up on some pillows, head, neck, and shoulders, or anybody who wants to add a little extra glutes, I'm not sure you do because we just did all that legs, but you can. 10 seconds, here we go. 
Take it up, focus on that core being engaged. Last one, good. And breathe, bring it up, turn it over. Pre, post, DR, or anybody who needs to modify, stay on all fours, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Everybody else, knees or toes. Here we go, 30, down, down, up, up. This is gonna get your heart rate up without feeling like you have to really rush it, guys. I want you to go down, down, up, up. I know you hate hearing me say that, but zip up in that core, finish it out. Whew. Ha, keep breathing, 10 to go. Yes. Last one, relax, stretch it back. All right, guys, so down on your back. Whew. Pregnant or early post or DR, we're gonna stay here and I want you to just go elbows to knees. Sitting up nice and tall, not leaning at all. Everybody else, take it here. And if you can, all the way up, join me. It's a runner's crunch. You can also modify by elbows to knee, just with a crunch. Or again, anybody who needs to modify, lift up to the ceiling, lift those knees without pushing out here, pulling in here, sit up nice and tall, especially my pregnant mamas, right? Here we go, bring it up, here we go. We're going five, four, Three, two, come up on your feet. Everybody come up. And we're gonna go elbow to knee for our cardio. Here we go. Take it. So still working the core, but getting our cardio. You can keep it low impact. PPDR, I want you not to twist too much. Everybody else you can. Right, keep it up. You can keep it low impact and still get a lot of intensity there. 10 to go. Right? Five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. Can we do all of that one more time? I know that felt long. So whatever you didn't use before. So I'm gonna go to my dumbbells, right? Regular lunge, then going into that half curtsy, half skater. Zip up in that core, nice and wide here we go I know we jumped right in right breathe yes weight in the heel so I'm losing my balance I'm gonna turn this way so I can look right at you drop that back knee remember that modification you can shorten that range of motion you can just do a little tap back so you're not dropping down in that back knee cores engage five seconds to go Breathe, last one, yes. Dumbbells out of the way, half skater. Here we go, and up, get low, get high. Get low and high. So it's a little skater, little sidestep. Can you get a little quicker while still managing to get low? And breathe, modification, just tap and tap. You can do it. Five seconds. And breathe. Yes, last one. Catch your breath. Other side, then lunges. These kind of lunges are done. I don't wanna say lunges, we got a side lunge in that last set, but don't worry guys, it's gonna move faster than this. I promise. Zip up in that core. Get ready. Stationary lunge all the way down, or easy little tap back, half skater. Your breath zip up in the core 30 seconds remember all we got to get through is 30 seconds core is engaged chest is lifted good posture as we're starting to get tired at the end remember why you are here why you showed up today it wasn't to have the perfect lunge although i'm sure you do i hope you do it was to feel good it was to be strong it was to work and challenge your body. Last one, out of the way. Breathe, step it over, cross down, slide it up. Here we go. You are here, you are moving. That is all that matters, guys. You know it, you showed up. That's already winning. Don't worry about anything else. Push through, 
This middle circuit is the longest one we're gonna have today. So let's get it done. And we are almost there, five to go. Get low and slide. Get low, slide, catch your breath. <sighs> Slowly bring it down. Come down on your side. Whew. Again, my pregnant mamas, if you wanna prop yourself up or come in that bridge, or anybody wants to add a bridge, can. Whew. Close grip press into your tries. Ready, pull that deep core in. Breathe, starting in three, two, one. Up, bend. <sighs> And down, two dumbbells like me, if you want. Add the bridge if you want, especially my pregnant mamas might want to anyway. Or you can have one dumbbell or one kettlebell. Just still try to get full range of motion. Be very aware, spotting that weight. 10 seconds. Yes. Last one, all the way through. Good, relax, bring it up. Whew. Flip over on those knees or on those toes. Down, down, up, up, elbow, elbow. Here we go. Hup, hup. Again, why are you here today? Yes, you can. Your body's gonna try to talk you out of this because nobody really likes this exercise but me, right? You can always drop to knees. Try not to stop. But if you do stop, you just breathe. Join us back when you're ready. Five seconds. Yes. Three, two, one. Breathe, stretch it back. Ah, good work, guys. Core, let's get it done. Modification, you're seated, but again, PPDR, I want you to make sure you're not leaning and putting that pressure. Sit up nice and tall, reach and reach, or knees and knees. Everybody else, here we go. 30 seconds, runner's crunch if you can. Deep core, really pull it in, zip it up. Not here, using momentum, but here. Deep, pulling it up, you can do it. 15, or just go halfway with a crunch. Three, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. You know this cardio, elbow to knee, low impact or high. Let's finish it out. 30 seconds, second circuit is done after this. Here we go. You got it, you can jump it. Little old school aerobics. Yes, I love it. Or really bring it across. Yes, if you really wanna get fancy with it, you can take it here. Hands behind your head, get that chest opener, that stretch. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Breathe. Ha. Ah, catch your breath, guys. How about a swing to finish it off? I'll switch to my dumbbells this time. It's up to you. Kettlebell or dumbbells? If you got two dumbbells, you can do a skier swing like me. One dumbbell or kettlebell right in the center. If you're not comfortable, with that swing, again, take it to that deadlift. Whew. Right here, just here to here, same set of muscles. Zip up in that core, hinge, power it up. Here we go. We got 40 seconds. Yes, drive it up. Lower than your eyes and not arching that back at the top. Breathe, keep it going, hips go back. Dumbbells or kettlebell drive back, then you power it up using your glutes and hamstrings, not your arms, right? And it's not a squat, Whew, 10 to go. Good, three, two, one. Relax, pedal those feet. Quick sip of water, guys. Oh, man. We are so close, I promise. Whew. All right, you got a little less than a minute. You can take it back to that or that skater or whatever cardio you wanna do. This is our last one, guys. All right, so heavy kettlebell. 
side lunge, but we're gonna go alternating and stationary. So here, push through. Here, push through. 30 seconds, then we put it out of the way, and it looks exactly the same, right? Side lunge, but step through, side to side. Second time through, we'll do it with the dumbbells or whatever you got. Then we're going curl and press. <sighs> curl, press, or with dumbbells, and we'll superset that with our cardio with some jabs and some uppers. Then we'll go to some side plank alternating. Go ahead and grab your dumbbell or your kettlebell. Whew, I'm gonna keep it here. Ready, nice and wide, 30 seconds. Down, push up. So I want you to use the fact that we're stationary to really get deep. Push out of that hip. Think you're going side to side. If you've got two dumbbells, you can take them on either side of your feet, chest stays lifted, but get low into that foot, into that hip, shift the weight. Yes. And up. Three, two, one. Get that dumbbell or kettlebell out of the way. Make sure you have some space side to side. Here we go. So you can just do a little reach through or add a little impact to it. Here we go. And up. And up. Breathe. Really, again, still focus on getting deep. I still want the same motion. I don't want just this. I want low, push, low. This last circuit is gonna go quicker, I promise. So finish it out strong, because you can. Breathe. Three, two, one. Relax. All right, curl and press. Almost switched to my lighter kettlebell. Whew. Breathe. Kettlebells or dumbbells up, up, down and down. Where you got two dumbbells up, up, down and down. Then we'll put them down and get some jabs. Here we go. Take it up, take it up. Take it down, take it down. If you need to, you can put one foot back. If that's gonna keep you from leaning into it, as sometimes we do, I want you to zip up in the core. Neutral alignment, so my ribs are staying stacked over my pelvis. Breathe, up, 10 seconds. Strong arms, yes, good, breathe. Kettlebell or dumbbells out of the way. Give yourself some space. We're gonna do four jabs, four uppers. This mic is really getting to me today. Here we go. So jab, jab, or uppers, or you can take it faster. Jab, 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 jab. Upper, 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 upper. Upper, upper, yes. Up to you if you wanna take them slow or fast, doesn't matter. Just keep it going. Five seconds. Yes, relax. Breathe. Sorry, I stopped you a little bit early, didn't I? All right, guys, so take it down into a front plank. Modification, I want you to rotate on that knee to that side plank, back to center here. Everybody else, if you can be all the way up, we're gonna rotate side plank to side plank. Take it here, back to center. Join me, reach, back to center. Take it up, back to center. Take it up, back to center, nice and slow. Again, modified, we're here and back. We're here and back. You're still getting your whole body turning into it. And breathe. Yes, stay lifted. One more each side. And breathe, little stretch. We're gonna come right back up on those hands because you can. We're gonna cross it in a mountain climber. Modification, just take it here to here. Just moving those knees. Everybody else, here we go. You're going across. Right? So we get those obliques. Yes. I know, you don't have to go. You don't have to run it. Again, mod, we're just here. Here. You're still engaging the core. 10 seconds, slow or fast. Three, two, one. Relax. Bring it up onto your feet. Can we do all of that again? 
switch out whatever you've got. We're in the home stretch, guys. Grab them here. Starting with that side lunge, nice and wide. Here we go for 30. Down, push up. Down, push up. Use the fact that you are stationary to really sit, shift your weight, drive the hips back, dumbbells on either side, really push up through it. Right? There we go. And up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Dumbbells out of the way. Side to side. You got 30. Here we go. Reach up. I know you're tired, but again, know you can do this. You can finish this out. This circuit is almost done. And we will get there together. Try to get deep and then push through, push out of that hip. You get some power here. Five seconds right here. And up. Yes. Good. Relax. Curl and press. Breathe for just a second. And then we go right into those jabs and those uppers. Think about that core engagement the whole time. Stay with me. Breathe for 10 more seconds. Whatever you did before. So if you had that kettlebell before and that hammer grip, you can switch it out and out. If you want a little more variety, totally up to you here. We go 30. In and down. So I'm curling in, rotating out. Again, put one foot back. If that gives you that stability to stay in alignment so you're not here or here, zip up in that core. Take it up, take it up. Take it in, 10 seconds. Breathe. Yes. Last one, all the way through. And relax. Dumbbells out of the way or kettlebell, whatever you got. Four jabs, four uppers. Upper, upper, or quick. Just make sure they're nice and tight. You know I like to make sound effects because I want you to get really strong punches Keep those elbows in tight to your body. That's how we're getting biceps. That's how we're getting shoulders and a little bonus back, right? Punch, punch, punch. And upper. One more. Upper. And relax, shake those out. All right, guys, this time, let's take that front plank on our elbows where we rotate. If you're staying on your knees, you might wanna stay up on your hands. Everybody else, let's go elbows because then we're gonna mix it up when we come out of it. So zip up in that core, rotate side plank to side plank, knees if you need to, hands and knees quadruped, or here, here we go. Rotate it up, back to center, strong. Rotate up, back to center. Breathe and center. Take it up and center, modified. Open it up. Take it all the way through. I really want you to take your time with it. All the way through. 10 to go. And breathe. And up. Last one right here. And relax. This time, guys, quadruped. Take it to the side, back, in. Side, back, in. Modification, everybody else. We're here, here we go out to the side. You may have less flexibility and that's okay. You can just do the tap here. But if you can take it all the way out, get those obliques, get your sides. Yes! I know we got 15 seconds. Stay zipped, stay pulling it up and in. 10. Strong and lifted in the center, zip it up. Four, three, two, one. Relax, stretch it back. All right, team, let's get a bonus move, but let's just make it a swing. This is a long, hard workout. You made it this far. Let's finish out with the swing. You decide, dumbbell or kettlebells or whatever you got. I'm gonna go with my heavier kettlebell, as I like to do. This is your last move. Make it good. We got 30 seconds and that is it. I want you to get that power. I want you to lock out in all of those muscles. Make sure you're breathing out of the top. Let's finish it out strong. Deadlift is your modification 
ready, here we go. Power it up, 30. Finish strong. I know you're tired. Don't let your brain talk you out of it because you are here and you are almost done. You are stronger than you think. I know it. I want you to know it. Breathe. 10 seconds. Can you crank out a few more? Use the power. Use your legs. Lose your glutes. Three, two, one. Let it swing and let it relax. You did it. Ah, pedal those feet. Let your head and neck relax. Oh my goodness, you guys. Take it out. Whoo. Breathe. Slowly roll it up. <laughs> I know. I'm feeling it too. That was a lot, right? Go ahead. Get your weights out of the way. <sighs> Let's take it out nice and wide. And then rotate forward as you push out gently. If that feels like too much, just sit on the edge of a chair or the couch or the floor. I know sometimes I'm like, oh, I can't hold a squat to stretch. <sighs> I get it. <sighs> nice work, guys. Thanks for hanging with me. Even if you took breaks, even if you didn't do everything I did, who cares? You are here. You showed up. That is a big deal. You need to give yourself credit for that. Too often I hear people telling me, but I paused, but I didn't do as heavy as you, but I didn't, who cares? You are here. The goal in our health and fitness is consistency, guys. It's just getting moving. It's getting moving for the long term, right? Not for the short term goal, for long term health. Reach those thumbs back. Grab if you can. Right? Open up that chest. Let your head drop one side and to the other. This workout moves quick. And anytime we do these workouts with weights, where you know you're gonna get two circuits, not always, but often, it's gonna be a little bit longer, but it's nice to mix it up, right? If you have that option. Breathe. Ah, roll through those shoulders. To the back, to the front. Ah, fingertips down. As always, get more stretching on your own. I'll link some videos right up here. If you can, make sure you get some water after this. And of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. When you subscribe, that helps me be able to keep making completely free workouts for you. Grab onto something or sit down on the floor, cross this over, get that little hip stretch. Subscribing also helps me be able to reach more people. So please hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications so you knew. You know when I'm doing a live workout or a new workout has been released, which is several times a week now, and when you know when I have monthly challenges coming up. Speaking of challenges, if you're looking for a little more of accountability and support, check out my BodyFit Athletic Club. The link is in the description below. It is an online international community of body fitters like you who are working hard. We have new monthly challenges every month, clickable workout calendars using these videos weekly and monthly, and we have a nutrition plan and you get direct support from myself and from Vivian, our body fit dietitian. So be sure to check that out. Whew. One big deep breath in and out. Thank you for showing up and moving with me today. You did it. That was your strength and cardio fusion workout. Great job, everybody.